Oh yeah, I guess that way. Um. I don't think what happened here is going to be super helpful. I don't need to know what sort of creature it is. No. I have a suggestion for you. I feel like if you. I ask what can it do, it's going to be like, it's going to lead you here. It's a map. I have a suggestion for you. You can also just go and ask people questions. And there's two people in town who are a little bit this this way that um uh might have answers for you and if you need me to tell you who they are i can tell you who they are but i'm just letting you know no hang on hang on hang on do they live at the old mill <laughs> no hang on <laughs> nope, I guess I didn't write her name down. Whoops. Which one? Um, my antiquities chick. Aw, poor Victoria. What's her name? Uh, uh, Victoria Evans. Yeah. And, Black, and Blackwood's Apothecary. Yes. Cassandra? Yes. Cassandra's that one. Sandra Blackwood is that one. So uh, right now you're at about five o'clock. You guys have about four more. Mm, yeah, four more hours until mm, three more hours until you got to go. Uh, until people uh, are shutting things down and you can't talk to them anymore. Tremaine's Curiosities is where Victoria was, right? No, Evans Antiquities. Oh, Evans Antiquities. Oh yeah, there's there's like three curiosity shops. Evans Antiquities, Tremaine's Curiosities, and, where and is Hartman's it? Books and Curiosities. That's fine. They're very curious folks. Okay, Evans Antiquities. Evans Antiquities. I'm just gonna go. Oh wait, I've got an idea. I'd like run out. <laughs> Where's she going? Where are they going? Oh, right. Sorry. When you gotta I go slipped. I slept. It's okay. okay. I slipped on again, my Again, again, Frankie did Actually, it to I themselves, so. I, I, I heard it earlier, too. Shouldn't one of you guys follow? Follow Frankie? I thought you were guarding us. What are we guarding you from? We know there's no danger. All right. <laughs> As Frankie Plus. goes and gets themselves murdered. Yeah. That was the last time we saw Frankie. Plus, we're off the clock now. We're drinking. <laughs> All right. So, you run over to Evan's Antiquities. Oh, and really and <laughs> Victoria is sitting behind the counter reading her book. Oh, welcome. Uh, I, I pointed this out last time, um, but I don't know if I pointed it out the first time you came in. There's a, like, a, the chime above the door is made out of, like, old-timey coins and, uh, like, small animal bones. Like, little skulls and little bones and stuff. Okay, so, Frankie thinks that I didn't, not going after her, because they'll have heard me say that, and I'm just going to excuse myself and sneakily follow her them go on well, for what hear? what is the reasoning here because i mentioned the map yep all right 
Plus, so, I got it. I got it. It's my job to keep my eye on her too. So, on that. Yeah. All right. We're off the clock. Okay. So, uh, Frankie runs over, and like I said, you enter, and she's like, "Oh, how may I help you?" Do you know a decent bit about cryptic-looking symbols by any chance? Um, are you asking if I'm versed in cryptography? Yes. She said it a lot better than I did. But yes. My cryptanalysis isn't that great, but I do know some things. What would you like to know? Um, I was looking through this really old book that I found out on a hike, and it mentioned a bunch of key landmarks, and there were these symbols, and at first I thought they, like, went with them, but there's too many landmarks and not enough symbols, and I'm scratching my head because I don't know Okay, so what are they? I'm, I, I'm uh, curious an now. An eye. <laughs> one of them's a crescent moon. Okay, uh, pause. A snake. I can just go off of eye for now. Um, so okay. an eye. You're generally looking in like, looking at a symbolism of foresight, intuition, or inner vision. Um, it represents the need for insight and awareness. Crescent Moon, I believe, was the next one you said? Yes. Sorry. Um, that generally represents mystery, transformation, and the cycles of life. Um, it's like different hidden truths and secrets, things like that. Uh, the third one was a snake. A snake or a serpent? I guess it could be either. Um, a serpent generally symbolizes re um, rebirth, healing, and transformation. I, I doodled it a little bit. I don't know if that helps. Yeah, that could be either or. Um, serpent is more likely, though, because not a lot of people generally reference snakes specifically. Are you crossing okay. something out? No, I was thinking it's tail. Uh, uh, I heard a pen just like... <laughs> I'm like like next uh rebirth healing and transformation is generally what that is it's shedding your old self and embracing a change okay um there was also a crossroads choice opportunity decision making and this opportunity that it uh the last one was a spiral um usually growth uh some sort of evolution and also it can be cosmic energy as well but it can be any one of those three things um Other than the moon and the serpent, is there any other, like, obvious connection between all of these that I'm just missing? I don't know what we're referring to, really, so I can't really help you. If you gave me a little bit more context, I might be able to. You might think I'm crazy. Oh, I generally I don't. Okay, so there is this... Shadow Stalker kind of creature that people keep seeing. 
it's like looks like a person but it's really tall and it's red eyes icy red. and yeah yeah i know yeah. well everything in this book was listing eyewitness accounts for decades on this thing uh, it's understandable And there were all these symbols with landmarks talking about, like, some kind of hidden chamber oh. up near a waterfall way too far away. Okay, and? Okay. I mean, without doing a, like, 20-hour hike, I'm trying to figure out what I can from cryptology okay so okay. the eye it could just be a did you sorry did you tell her it was part of the map yes okay so with the eye being on the map it could be talking about the need for insight and awareness on your journey ahead um, with the moon, as I said, it symbolizes hidden truths and secrets, but it also has the mystery transformation cycles of life. But the symbolizing of hidden truths and secrets waiting to be uncovered, that could be it. <clears throat> and then the serpent, maybe there's something along the path that you need to embrace change in order to be able to reach your destination. And then the crossroads, well, that seems pretty obvious to me. It means that you will have specific moments and need for decisive action um, that will change the journey's outcome. And then for the spiral, you grow along the way. It symbolizes your journey of self-discovery and maybe unfolding some of the mysteries. <coughs> this is pretty basic stuff. Are you not very good at this? I've never focused a whole lot on cryptology. I've... I tend to be a little bit more reckless, and I'm just like, well, let's go find out. But Well, there you go, then. If you have any other questions like this, I'd be happy to help. It's kind of one of my go-tos. That would be awesome. If I find more stuff like this i'm definitely i will bring it to you um all right uh and then um, <laughs> she holds up or she picks her book back up and literally the book she's reading is a very old looking book and <laughs> it is cryptography or the history principles and practice of cipher writing Oh, I thought it was going to be like cryptology for dummies or something. No. no. It's a it's a book from 1889. I thought he sent us. Also, Victor, what were you doing during this? That whole time, I did not pull out a map. It was more like journal <laughs> drawings and like going from my own head, having this conversation. It's like they knew you were always. Exactly. Well, there's also a reason I shoved it to the bottom of my bag. You pulled it out for Maria. Yeah, but it was yeah, in it was in their pants then. It was on my bag, and I knew none of you guys were there, and you didn't know where I went. Fine, I was just making sure you were fine. This is going as I long was... as you can, Victor. You know that, right? Oh yeah. Cat and mouse. Not cat. So yeah, I was just. I I just been peeking in the window, making sure they were going where they were going. Once I knew they were going, 
and probably went back to the bar. <laughs> you see her pull out like her own like beat up notebook. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, not a map. Walks away, flip a page, unfold them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I'm gonna go to leave and uh, turn around for a second and other than the Blackwoods that own the apothecary, you wouldn't happen to know of an E. Blackwood that used to live around here at all, would you? Um, no. Okay. Hey, yeah, that's since I was here. And yeah, no, I've your... never heard of it. Enjoy your book. Thank you. It's very interesting. Walk out awkwardly. I guess I'll go back to the bar. Uh, Victor, what do you do? You're you're going back before they pop out? Yeah, I, I I would have probably been back before they even got done talking to Victoria. Okay. Um, what time is it? You're probably looking at like five thirty yeah. now. When's the last time we talked to Rachel? Was that last night? Mm, yeah. No, today. Oh. Was that today? Yeah, yeah, no, it we was. We dropped the stuff out this morning. Oh, look who's here. Hey. Just in, just in, just in Skype, though, he... He's not in chat. While we're sitting at the bar, can I text Tom, our boss? Sure. What do you want to text him? Uh. Hey, Tom, I have this map. Don't tell Victor. Hey, um, just out of curiosity, if I had a valid reason... Uh, would you authorize, like, a $3,000 charge for a guide for a hike out into the woods? It's monster-related. Uh, takes a bit of Thumbs time. <laughs> you get a comment back, it's like... If you, you know you've got to take Victor with you. <laughs> are you guaranteed to get some sort of evidence or footage um, it's connected with that journal we found with all the eyewitness accounts uh, it mentioned something about Secrets of the Shadow Stalker. Makes the question I asked was, are you guaranteed to get some sort of footage? We will get footage, yes. Straight up lie. <laughs> who all is going kind of Who all is he going on this footage. trip? Um, what would I have to? I don't. We wouldn't have to take everyone, right? I'd have to. They'd probably want me to take security. Um, 
I was thinking of stealing Charlie and Wyatt on camera. And Charlie on security, Wyatt on camera. Talk to me later. I'm just gonna reply, that's not a no, winky face. And it just comes back, I know it's not. Talk to me later. <laughs> Fine. Welcome, Wyatt. Hello. They're all at the bar right better. now. So all we do is drink. Oh, boy. Yeah, that sounds about right. I almost picked a fight with some hunters, though, before I went to the bar. Ooh, nice. Before I went to this bar. Bar oh, yeah, I'm going to tell them about that. I'm mm. going to tell them about, like, all of the hunters, though. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we are never going... Back. We are never going to be allowed back in that lodge ever again. Soon Ooh. enough. You with Edmund, me with Tobias, and now you've got hunters. They weren't from around here, it's fine. Oh, well. And Tobias told me to try not to get in trouble and pointed me towards the bar, so. Wow. Maybe he's gotten a little nicer. I think it's just you. Maybe. I don't know what I did with him. It's like, he just rubs me the wrong way every time. Wait, so this pack of hunters was planning to go out hunting, and I do in air quotes, the animal? Yeah. All right, well, that's, hopefully we catch them before they do, because he's weak. I mean, if they find Elias, they, They're they will be. They're not looking for that, though. They're looking for, like, for a, a big-ass bear that they think did this. <clears throat> I made the mistake of overhearing them and kind of snorting in response, and that's what started. Yeah. Well, regardless, we want to take this, uh, take hey, Elias down as fast as possible. What he wanted to say totally went right over his head. You know what his response was? Greatest hunter ever. Nice. These guys are idiots. How rude. Oh. Well, after they saw what, well, maybe I guess they didn't see. Oh no, I was bored. No. I figured I'd get nosy and head over that way. So, and they've got good drinks at that bar. Have you had any at that bar? They're good. I mean, they're not Walter good, but they're good. Well, you have to, I guess, with all those hunters, be able to make a drink, or at least not a poor drink. Yeah, exactly. So do we know why she went, though, or why they went there? Traffic. No, you would have no idea why they went to the hunting lodge. That's yeah. what I got you. You're just checking out people around? Well, they mentioned that we're going on curfew because of animal attacks. I figured the best place to figure out what people are thinking about an animal attack is the hunting lodge good idea yeah there's nobody here except for us so it's like i guess the hunters are all sticking together at the hunting lodge yeah they're all trying to go out and see who can bag this thing to get rid of the curfew i guess in their own strange way that makes sense hey uh walter since there's nobody around, can we order food in here? Yeah, that's fine. You guys want to just stay here for supper? Might as well. Maybe somebody will show up. Well, yeah, we got to help Walter out. Keep these doors open, right, Walter? I mean, the more money you spend, the better. Uh, do you allow miners in here? 
why it's been in here before. For... Oh, well, then I guess that doesn't matter. So, Charlie, you want to go get Wyatt? I'm just going to call him. Uh, yeah, text him. Tell him the call. I don't know whether Charlie's always the best to go after. Uh... Oh, yeah. No, I, I like to see the right reaction. Oh, hold on. Wyatt, are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. You're like, Charlie, be over to get you right away. Come Never to... Never mind, I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Walter's bar. We're ordering food. Be there food. a minute. He's on like, his way. The alien. The alien will be there shortly. <laughs> Our lizard man. Yeah, he's not an alien. I don't know what he's right. Sorry, lizard man. Lizard people? Lizard people can be aliens. Lizard people can be aliens. Okay. That's that's only the fifth time that reference has been made. Um It's great, that's why. Lizard lies matter. Okay. Now we're going too far. <laughs> um, we have been drink we've been drinking, so not in real life, I hope. Well, you never know. You gotta have been drinking in yeah, real life. Exactly. You don't know what's in this bottle. Um, I saw you open it, so I'm pretty sure it's Coke. You don't know what happens off screen. Fair enough. Just slowly what been they pour slowly been Coke adding bottle. more and more. Cat has been putting whiskey in her Coke. That's right. Doop to do. I don't do dark liquor, so no. It's ever clear. Maybe it has white whiskey. Could be a rum. I have a lot of rum. All right, so. Uh, why it shows up at the bar. Hey, guys. Wyatt, what do you want to eat? Uh, a burger. Yeah, I sure, sure they have that here. Typical bar food. Burger and a Shirley Temple. So... Uh, I've been through the footage, haven't found much. What have y'all been up to today? Um, I was being nosy and went over to the hunting lodge and almost picked a fight with a few hunters. Why would you do that? Especially after he called me lady. Okay? Not cool. In an aggressive way. To be fair, you also didn't correct Either way. It. Yes, I did. I turned around, I answered his question, and went, also not a lady. I didn't hear that part. Uh, I didn't hear that part either. It, it might not have come through the mic. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I had answered his question, and then went, also not a lady. Okay. Yes, I did, um, not, I did not hear that, but that's fine. No, you're fine. Whatever. Um. They're going so you hunting. got in a fight? Almost. Did you win? Yeah, he was really dumb. Quick words. I didn't use my fist this time, so I'm not banned from the hunting. <laughs> That's good. What do you mean this time? When, when did you use your fist? You're going after the animal. Quiet. They're going at oh. That's probably not a good idea. Hmm. They don't know I don't... what they're going. I don't think Frankie would have been able to convince them anyway from the what she what they were saying. I just told him good luck with that and then asked him what he wanted written on his gravestone. He didn't get what I meant. He just told me to put Greatest Hunter Ever and him and all of his buddies high-fived. I think he understood what you meant to. It was just, um, that's was his comeback. I like to pretend he was just dumb. I mean, fair. I mean, don't you like to pretend everybody's just dumb? <laughs> <laughs> also fair. Also fair. Not everybody. Sometimes I give them the benefit of the doubt. And who are we lying to today? 
Yes, Victor. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Oh, yes. Victor, Victor asked them about the map, and they said that they did not have it. They just memorized. Just memorized. Memorized the entire thing. I said I found the symbols in the book and was trying to remember all of the landmarks that I saw. On I couldn't remember all of them because I didn't look at it for long. I gave you two. I gave you two. <clears throat> Alright. So... Are you guys uh, just getting your food and then going to bed, or what, what's your plan for tonight? We'll get food and go back. I think we're going back to, yeah. Because I will Pretty remind terrified. you that the curfew does not apply to you, as oh, yeah, was told right. to you by the... Oh, uh, right. Show. Yes, but we don't want to blatantly uh, do it in front of Walter so that he's, like, questioning stuff. I guess it's not really cover. Yes, well, I guess we better head back. Yeah, because Walt... I'm guessing Walter doesn't live at the bar. Uh, no. There's yeah, a... so he, he would have to get going, too. Correct. Yes, this isn't Bruce Brothers. Yeah. He doesn't live above his bar. I guess, it's, I guess it'll, it'll be, be after we finish. I guess we got to go back home then. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Put that curfew in place. We at least have time to finish eating, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. only it's only like six at this point. Oh, okay. Curfew's like nine. Mm, Plus, isn't it's winter isn't the uh, isn't isn't where we're eating connected to the? Oh no, we're at no, no, no. Turner's pub. Okay. Yeah, you're at Turner's pub, oh, not the. Less. Yeah, we're less than a block away. So. Yeah. I mean, pretty much everything's less than a block away, let's be honest. Um, True enough. Anyway. Okay. So. You guys finish eating. And you're heading back home. Mm-hmm. Yep. Unless Frostbite needs some more aloe before we head back. Yes. Charlie, do you feel you need more aloe vera? You feel the need to touch a frost monster? He fell asleep. I'm going to get him some anyway. home now. Charlie? Charlie, Charlie, are you there? He I'm did say that home. if he got somewhere, he might be a few minutes, remember? Hello, Charlie, my old friend. I'd love to talk to you again. Why oh, do you eat it? I, I messed that up. It's Charlie, Charlie, are you here? What? I don't know what that means. Don't worry about it. Or are you drinking all the beer? No, that's not it. Okay, now it's, now it's sad. Okay. So I guess Charlie is gone. Uh, I'm going to grab him some anyway. I'm just going to pop in and uh, tell Cassandra I'm going to grab Frostbite some more aloe. Of course, not a problem. Just in Is that all? Um, yeah, just that tonight. All right. Have you tried the microdosing? No, I have not. Very well. Can I get that here? 
Depends. Or do you know someone? Depends. Who's asking? Depends. I'm not a cop. You're an undercover cop. That sounds like something a cop would say. I have been detained way too many times by cop to ever want to stop. Alright, whatever. Um, it depends on what you're looking for. I only carry natural ingredients here. Understood? I understand. I mean, I don't have a problem with natural substances or ingredients. Whatever you think will work. You're the expert. Are you going to be operating any heavy machinery in the next few days? I definitely don't plan on it. I also wouldn't trust myself with heavy machinery even without it. Very well. She uh, reaches under her counter and uh, you hear like the twisting of something. And it sounds like uh, the, like on a safe. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like the, yeah. And you hear a, a metal clang as it opens. Uh, a little bit of rustling around, closes the door, and there's a paper bag, and she pushes it across the counter. I don't think you can put this on the business card. Well, that's fair. I think I have some cash rolling around in the bag. I have rolling that. around? Okay. Floating around, whatever. Right on top of the map. <laughs> just I so, my wallet. Just so salty about the just... map. I meant in, like, a wallet. We're gonna give Frankie a new addiction. <laughs> that's fine, <laughs> Because this is the good stuff. They're going to be uh, hallucinating every time you guys go somewhere. It's like, oh, there's a monster. That's a bush. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 behind the bush. Another bush, Frankie. Yeah, it was just there, I swear. <laughs> anyway. Not it. There's a purple dragon. Green fairy. Um, Green fairy. All Why right. aren't you eating? There's a dragon guarding the fridge. So, you guys, you head back to the lodge. Um, give Charlie his frostbite aloe. And, um, go to sleep? Question mark? Question mark. It, yes, will... no? Yes. Sure. But I'm gonna try my new stuff. Your new stuff? Mm -hmm. Before I go to bed. Okay. You're not gonna go talk to Tom? Oh shit, yeah, let me talk to Tom first. Before you take before you take your special medicine. But it'd be way funnier yeah. if it was before right after. Like, oh crap, I meant to talk to Tom. It's like, oh well. Oh, Alright. First, before I go up to my room. Alright, so. All right. so. You can tell me a little bit more about this. What's going on? Um. I'm gonna pull the, like, the actual journal out. Was there an entry in the journal that mentioned or like referenced the map or was it all just on the map? Mm, there was an entry in the journal that mentioned the secret bunker. Was it a secret bunker? Okay. What, did it, what did I call it? Secret tunnel? Hidden chamber, sorry, not secret bunker. Okay. This isn't Avatar. 
<laughs> Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Um. Oh, in case you so... uh, who are all watching um, didn't realize, we're all massive nerds. If you didn't realize by the fact that we play Dungeons and Dragons. Hey now, this is Monster of the Week, but yeah, our last campaign was D&D. We're, we're, none of us are nerds. What do you, t what? No. Sounds now super believable. To... None uh, of us have ever worked in a game <laughs> store before. All right. Um, what about okay. this? What's so, this journal? What hidden chamber? I. What's this gonna do for you? This is the journal that has decades of eyewitness accounts of this thing. The guy who wrote all of this down found a hidden chamber out near. They call it like an enchanted waterfall. It's like a sheer drop. But there is a hidden chamber near the waterfall, but it's like 18 hour hike from here with a guide. That Do you need a guide? Unless you want it to take like 24 hours and that's not including stopping. I guess not. Um... It'd be faster and safer with a hike. With a guide. So we're talking about hike. four days away from town. Correct? Potentially. Correct. So. So here's the question. Start... When would you be leaving? Because your supplies are showing up tomorrow. Um... I haven't booked anything yet, so I don't know exactly when I'd be leaving, but it probably wouldn't be tomorrow. Okay. So... Supplies are showing up tomorrow. Is there a point to going to this place if it's related to what you're hunting now? And let's say tomorrow you finish this. You get all the things you need. You set up a trap for the monster, whatever. Is there a point to you actually going here? If we finish this tomorrow, I don't need to book it. Okay. No, there are way too many unanswered questions about what the hell this thing is, where it's actually coming from. Oh. And right now, we're working on theories of what's what's going to work best. All right, fine. We'll see what happens tomorrow, and then talk to me after that. Capiche? Cool. All right, ciao. And he heads up to his room. I don't know why he's now. I don't know why he's now a capiche and ciao guy, but he's doing it. I should have just before talking to him. And I'm just gonna walk back to my room. Whatever, he's great. So you're taking a mushroom? Yes. <clears throat> Perfect. And I'm just gonna like start That's who's showing up on my bed. All right, so, so with that, with that. Um, hmm. Honestly, I think at this point Honestly. we might actually be able to call it a night. That's a that's a good starting point for next time, yeah. Yeah. So, plus we're plus Charlie's sleeping, so. 
Izzy. Yeah, I should drink. That's fair. All right, so we got to ask some questions here before we call it a night. Oh, don't think any of those are answered. Did we conclude Let's the current ask. mystery? Nay, nay. Did we save someone from certain death or worse? Nay, nay. Did we learn something new and important about the world? Uh, Cassandra sells mushrooms. Literally. And you have a person at the antiquity store who helped you with figuring out what the cryptic symbols meant. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You, you did learn something. Um, did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? Yes. But they're jerks. Frankie, Frankie is a dirty jerks. liar. Oh. Yeah. I already knew that, though. Uh, so I don't really see anybody? So, y'all get one experience point. Yay! That means Y gets to level up again. Woo! What level? What, what, what number is this for you? My second. Your second? I like how why it shows up for like 30 minutes of the game and gets a level out of it. <laughs> Boom. I need Uno Mas. Uh, so maxing. Nice. We only did one roll in this entire in this whole game, so I mean that's that's fair. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't do anything. No, you didn't really. Um other than Super productive. Other than Frankie. Frankie Frankie figured some stuff out. The rest of you were just drinking. Yeah. Hard to figure stuff out when you don't, you don't got the map. Yeah, Frankie. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh, I about. So, I think that is where we're going to call it a night. And uh, we bid you all farewell and see you all next week. Farewell. Have a good night. Bye, Bye. all.